Good morning, guys. It's me, sure I do. And I'm having a bad day today. Nothing's really happened. I was just really tired this morning. Why? Sorry. I was really tired this morning. Josiah woke up at like five and just had like a crying. I don't know marathon. And I don't know, I just, I we went back to sleep, and I went back to sleep, but I feel like I didn't go back to sleep. I'm just really tired, and I just don't feel good today. Like, emotionally. I feel kind of crappy. So I decided, <clears throat> since I'm not feeling good, makeup, when I put makeup on, normally makes me feel better. Makes me feel a little energized. Makes me want to do things. Makes me want to do things. So I decided I'm gonna put on some makeup. Try out some new products I have since. You gotta try them out anyway. So I figured I would do it with you guys. I would do it on YouTube, and just we'll call this "Make Me Feel Better" look. <laughs> so I'm gonna, you know, wing it. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm about to do in this chair. No idea. But I figured I would just share it with you guys and. We could chit chat while while I'm doing it, and I don't know, just be girls. Today I just woke up, and I just don't feel like it. I just don't. I don't feel like doing anything. I don't feel like making anybody any food. I don't feel like making myself any food. I don't feel like being pregnant right now. I don't feel like being anybody's mommy right now. I feel like just being me. So you know you can't just turn off motherhood, which I don't really want to turn it off. I just want like a little intermission <laughs> from people, not people, from the kitties constantly asking me for things or constantly just wanting things or just fighting. It's just like, guys, everybody just shh. I just want to hear silence. So because I can't get that, which I think is totally fine to want as a mom and as a mom of more than one child, then I'm just going to get myself pretty and then hope that, I hope that it encourages me to get up and actually do the things I have to do today. Because I actually have things to do around the house, of course, today. I need to figure out what's for dinner. I need to... I need to wash clothes and put them away. I hate putting clothes away. I don't mind washing them, but I hate putting them away. But I need to do that. And I just, those are the things, like, basically that's what I really need to do. My house is a little bit in a disarray. It's just, looks like a kid's house, but I mean, I guess that's normal. There are kids that live here. So today we're going to use the Dip Brow Pomade Dark Brown Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I just decided to use this today because I don't use it anymore, really. I mean, well, the last couple times I haven't used it. So I'm going to use it. It's definitely darker than my ColourPop one, which is why I got my ColourPop one. I also have a Milani one. What color is that one? Of course I can't find it. What? I'm like, it's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing going on. Everybody think goodness, healthy, good. Everything's good. But I just feel like, ugh. But hopefully this makeup makes me feel better. I still have my pajamas on. I'm probably going to have my pajamas on all day. I am a pajama wearer, okay? I love to wear my pajamas. I have so many pajamas. My pajamas outnumber my clothes. 
I had to do better. Okay, so I set my eyebrows with my NYX Control Freak. I need to find a new eyebrow set, setter. I don't think that doesn't work. I just need to find something else. I just need to find something else. So... I guess now I'm gonna I have my primer on. So I'm gonna do my eyelids. What am I doing? Oh. My jar of concealers. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my NARS creamy concealer in caramel. I'm just not having a good day. I cried once this morning. I don't even know why. <laughs> it's definitely probably just my pregnant, you know, pregnancy. This little girl is making me emotional. Well, more emotional than usual. Or I'm um, just crying. Either one. <laughs> It's all good though. I'm already starting to feel a little better with my eyebrows done. <laughs> this already got me feeling like, ah, oh, I'm alive. Please ignore my nail. My nail freaking broke this morning. Okay. Prime the eyes. Now we'll put the stuff on. Um, I'm gonna go with my neutrals palette from BH Cosmetics today. And I'm really just gonna build some browns on top of each other. I want to look, I don't know, I just want to be brown. I'm going to go in with this color right here. Ooh, can you see it? This brown. I'm going to put that down as a base. They're like playing basketball out there. And they'll go to sleep upstairs. And if they wake Jojo up, I'm going to kill them. I like using browns on my eyes. I like just building them up. But now I'm going to use the one next to it. <clears throat> And just really, I put that one all over my lid. I'm gonna put this one just like on this side. Like just right here. On the, you know, on the thing. So I'm just patting them in. Just get the most pigment I can. Okay, I'm going to go in the crease with I'm going to take 
this point sigma brush this is the p86 we're not gonna drop things and i'm just gonna take i want to take a dark brown i think i'm gonna take a dark brown from my l'oreal um what is this l'oreal nude one palette i'm gonna take this dark brown right here and I'm going to attempt to focus it on my crease. What do you guys do to make yourselves feel better? I'm just going to blend everything together. Yeah. That's cool. I'm good with that. Sure. I'm going to use a gel liner today by Maybelline Eye Studio. If I don't knock everything down. And then I'm going to use... Maybe I should use this. I've never used this brush before. Can you see how small the little head is? I've never used it before. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a whirl today. I spray some of that 6 Plus in this Maybelline Studio stuff because I haven't used it in how long and it looks like it's dry. It looks like it's like slime. You can't be serious. But Okay. I'm going to pull my eye a little bit. I'm just going to First eyeliner I put on is normally like just a guide for me and my lashes. So, didn't have to be perfect. So now we're going to put on lashes. And I actually want to double stack today. Something I haven't done before. Sure. I'm going to double stack. I think I'm going to double stack. Okay, so I think I'm going to double stack these two. You can see it, doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it. So, first, the first pair, which I've already worn on both of these lashes, so I didn't want to break out. Two new pairs. Hopefully they go on without a problem. I'm sure I already seem like I'm feeling better. But I know. I'm definitely starting to. So that's the first pair. These are pretty lashes. Long and whatnot. And here's the second pair. Just want to make sure they're on there.
So I'm gonna wave them because it gets a little more tacky. I didn't wait for these to get tacky. I just put them on. What up? Go on. And that's them double stacked. Let's see if I'm going the right way. Thick. And I lick it. So let's do the other eye. The other eye is the one that's going to give me the issues. Well, you let me know that. Like I said, it would. Let's see if the second lash gives me just as many issues. <laughs> struggle is real sometimes trying to get lashes on in a timely fashion can just be really hard but then afterwards you're like oh this is all i wanted i just wanted to look like a butterfly Okay, so I have both set of lashes on and they just feel heavy. <laughs> Regular heavy though. Like, I like it. So I'm going to line my eyes again with the Jet Black. I forgot what this is, but you see what the shape this is? You know what this is. I don't even know the, I didn't even know the writing came off of it. Must have been a ride. I'm just gonna line over both of them and touch up the line I made earlier, which it sucked anyway. <laughs> See, now we're talking. Those are the eyes for the most part for now. Now we're gonna do the face. Just recently brought Shea Moisture's Weightless Foundation. Two different shades. I think they're different. Ugh, they didn't have the name of the other one. She said it was different, but I don't know. I kind of feel like they aren't, but we'll see. And then I have the Dewy Smooth Maybelline Fit Me. I have the matte, which is my favorite. So I'm trying to decide which one of those I'm gonna use. I really don't know right now. Right now, I'm just gonna color correct under my eyes, around my nose, and around my lips. I have the most, I think, discoloration. 
these are like the best beauty blenders I've had since I've had I, I had a name brand one and our dog decided to eat it so <sighs> couldn't obviously it was gone so I've been looking for a knockoff one because I just didn't want to spend that money again and I didn't feel I just didn't feel like it so I went ahead after a trial and error, I have so many of them now. Well, not so many, better than that. And they were all just too hard. Like, how this is soft on my face. They were, like, hard. Like, it was, like, ding, 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 ding. But this is just so soft and perfect. I bought two of them. Well, it came in a two-pack. And bomb. I think they were maybe $10. And I love it. Okay? I love it. Then... I'm going to take my nutmeg black opal foundation stick and I just use this really to go over the dark spots on my face I used to use my Bobbi Brown um, touch up stick but I ran out of it so I found another alternative until further notice but I like this this works fine definitely covers my dark spots I don't, be, I don't have any peekabooers No peekabooers, but now I just look crazy. So I think I'm gonna go with. What if we go with Dewy Smooth? Oh, I know I should try one of these shade moisture shade moisture ones, but I'll try it next time. I'm gonna take out my foundation brush. I think I'm gonna use my Sigma one today. Yeah, I've been loving my Real Technique one. Real Technique. Brushes, but I think I'm gonna do the same ones. Oh. Guys, I'm just such a mess. So I have some in my hand. Got it all over. Dewy smooth. I'm just gonna buff it in. on the neck a little bit my neck's always been darker than my face so I don't really mess with it that much I'm really just a little bit but not for real they used to make fun of me when I was little <laughs> they used to make fun of me when I was little that my neck was so dark it's like your mother's I used to feel some type of way about it, like insecure about it. Then I was like, Lord, this neck works. I can turn my head, I can lift my head. <laughs> this neck is just fine. These people are tripping. Ooh. <laughs> well, I'm not used to being dewy, but it's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and just go over it with the beauty blender. I tell you, this Maybelline Fit Me is a great fit for me. <laughs> okay, so let's conceal. We're going to use Toffee. If we can find it. Here it goes. I'm going to use Toffee from LA Girl. I'm go ahead and make my little triangle. I look like a tribal leader. 
it's all right it's okay blend blend until you can blend anymore I think I'm gonna order some pizza and buffalo wings. I think that's gonna make me happy too. See? Once you start doing your makeup, you start thinking. Start thinking, hold up. Maybe this is what I want. So, everything is looking good. And then I'm going to set everything with my norm. My norm banana powder. And I'm going to use those disposable little triangles. I think I'm going to bake, which I really don't normally bake. Because I just don't. So today, I'm going to bake. Go ahead and set it on there. Let me do my forehead. Boom. I'm gonna let that sit and look, you know, crazy. I'm gonna bronze my face with the norm. Got the cover girl powder everywhere. The cover girl ebony bronzer thing that I love. Love it. I'm going to go for a hard bronze. A real simple one. Squeeze it on the bowl. Down the side of my nose. And I'm gonna brush it out once I get this other stuff off my face. And now I'm just gonna take this big brush I got from NARS. Make sure I get in here. And then get that brush again and just brush out this bronzer on the side of my nose. Ooh, I can't afford my nose, honey. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my black oval medium setting powder. Sometimes I use dark, sometimes I use a medium. I'm feeling a little medium today. For whatever reason. I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it all over. I think this is good for setting your face, not so much under your eyes, so. This didn't work for me under my eyes. I'm just gonna get my little lining on in there. My waterline. Come in. 
fuck up when I ran up the bottom, bottom thing, you know, whatever this thing is. Mmm. It's like a purple. I like that. I'm just about done. I'm gonna put some shimmer in the corner of my eyes and I'm gonna use my NARS. I'm not gonna put any blush on. I actually like it without blush. And I'm gonna use my, what did I say? What did people are testing me ridiculous stuff right now? <laughs> and I'm gonna respond in a second. I'm just gonna put some of that right there. Make it be like a boom. <laughs> and for my lippies, I'm gonna them off some. I kind of just want to stay clear. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my. Got this the other day, my NYX clear glossy gloss stuff. I'm just going to put that right on my lips. Like that. And that's it. That's the finished look, guys. And I have to say, I feel ten times better. I feel pretty, and I feel like, oh, now I can go lay on the couch again. Hope you enjoyed my little feel better makeup look. Here's a little close-up. You see that? I'll see you in my next one. Bye.